Well, the 14 plaintiffs in this case call it racial gerrymandering. And this 66 page lawsuit will go to trial. At least it's set to go to trial next year. Today, though, it's about an injunction which could give an immediate stop to the voting district if the judge decides with the plaintiffs. Well, I think what happened was the city council made what the French call a mental faux pas. Outspoken activist and president of the Northside Coalition, Ben Frazier, is one of 14 plaintiffs challenging this map. It's easy to interpret the political motivation of the people who created this map. Their plan benefits incumbent politicians and it protects other city council members who want to limit the number of black voters in their district. I reached out to the city of Jacksonville and several city council members for comment. I did not hear back. I did, however, meet with Andrew Pantazzi outside City Hall. He's the editor of The Tributary, a nonprofit news site, and he's covered this issue extensively. This has been a big issue in Jacksonville since consolidation because we've always had to wrestle with how do we ensure that all voters have an equal right to vote while also making sure that when we design our districts that we're not disenfranchising anyone. Redistricting occurs every 10 years after a census is released to adjust for population changes. The lawsuit alleges City Council violated the 14th Amendment, which prohibits the unnecessary centering of race in redistricting decisions. The hearing begins at 10 a.m. inside the federal courthouse. That means no cameras allowed, so we will be keeping you updated on air and online, especially at First Coast News at noon. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side. All right, get ready to let out.